Uh, how you are enjoying Bangladesh uh, this time and uh, earlier you also came here? <laughs> Bangladesh has always been good to me. Yeah. I, I've got friends here, uh, I've traveled and as I say this time is my first time in Silhet, yeah. which was great. I enjoyed the, the tea plantation areas, I enjoyed the relative quiet yeah. of Silhet because Chittagong is madness. Yeah. The traffic and the, 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 the number of people. Yeah. But you know, everywhere we go, uh, we have had the most wonderful welcome. The staff at the hotels, the, and, and not just here, but I'm talking Silet, and, and, and the goodness, yeah. uh, and just the general feeling towards us as broadcasters, as international broadcasters, has been, it's, it's, it's been touching, it's been emotional, and um, we want to use that emotion yeah. for future visits and for the future of Bangladesh. It's here. Everything, the emotions in the heart exactly. of Bangladeshi people. Yeah. You've got to translate that now onto the cricket stage because we want a strong Bangladesh team. Uh, at the same time, how will rate the Silet International Stadium? Newly built stadium. Uh, the, that stadium, the Silet uh, International Divisional Stadium, is a great facility. Yeah. It's not too big, yeah. which means that everyone uh, has an intimate uh, view of the cricket. And what I did like, I liked the, uh, the green, uh, the grassy. Yeah. The gallery there, those, those like, like, like those T yeah. steps, you know, yeah. that's beautiful. Okay. And then we had in Silet, we had the uh, beautiful sunsets. Yeah. That's fantastic. But I do believe it's a, it's a fabulous stadium. And you know, international flights fly from London into Silet because, yeah. you know, uh, there are a lot, a lot of Sileti people go to the United Kingdom yeah. and open businesses and restaurants. So yeah. the structure is there. The structure is there. And um, I thought it was a wonderful place to play cricket. Alan, if you uh, if we uh, go to your personal career yeah. now, you were a cricketer, but you started your uh, commentary career with uh, rugby. Yeah. Uh, what's the reason? Behind it? <laughs> I played rugby. I mean, rugby was my my game. I played rugby and cricket yeah. the same. But because Wales, I'm from Wales, and because yeah. rugby is a very much a passion, like cricket in Bangladesh you have to be involved in rugby. You know, if you're going to be in television sport, you have to do rugby. And uh, cricket was, well, it wasn't as much on my portfolio as yeah. rugby was. So I absolutely love rugby. I mean, I did the 91 Rugby World Cup, 95, 99, 2003, 2000. I've done virtually all of them except for 87. So I love rugby. I have, have you got a rugby team here? Uh, Bangladesh. No, uh, Bangladesh started. To <laughs> you need play some. Rugby. You need some bigger guys. <laughs> <laughs> and we need to send them to, <laughs> to build them. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, uh, you started your career after end of cricket. You also are a sports journalist, as far as I know. You yes. are a sports editor for uh, SBS. Uh, how you enjoyed that uh, career also as a journalist? Well, you know, I got in through the sports store, if you like. I didn't do a degree in journalism. I did my degree in uh, sports science, physical education and psychology with history yeah. at Loughborough, which is now Britain's leading sports establishment, for cricket especially. So I did my degree there, I had my education behind me. Uh, the injury meant that I had to choose a different career. I chose broadcasting. Um, I did news, I've read television news, radio news, I've done the reporting, I've done all this, I've held cameras, yeah. I've done directing. Yeah. But eventually I wanted to be uh, this side of the camera, I want to do broadcast on the cricket yeah. and rugby, and I love my golf and I love my tennis. Tennis. Uh, so, yeah. you know, so I've been very fortunate that all my time at ESPN Star Sports in Singapore, where I live, and I've yeah. lived for 14 years, I've been very fortunate that uh, that has given me a huge global platform. I've seen the very best yeah. in the best sports in the world. Uh, at the same time, if we consider the, your tennis career in uh, commentary, um, you started probably from Wimbledon, yes, Wimbledon Tennis Wimbledon, Championship. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, almost every Grand Slam when you started uh, from Wimbledon, you covered almost every uh, Grand Slam. And you meet lots of uh, tennis uh, stars. Uh, how, uh, <laughs> uh, how does it feel uh, to meet all the leading uh, uh, sport guys? Well, you know, um, I've been very lucky. This, this, I've done 20 years of Wimbledon. Yeah. I did two for the SABC in Johannesburg and I've done the rest with ESPN Star Sports covered the US Open tennis at New York, uh, the Australian Open from Melbourne, and I've met them all. I've, you know, I've met all the great players, and um, to, to, to actually talk with them like we're talking now, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's what everyone wants to do. You want to meet Roger Federer, you want to meet Andre Agassi, Pete Sampras, Rafael Nadal, Djokovic, Murray, yeah. 
and, and the ladies. I mean, and it's through my great friend Vijay Amitraj, you know, former Indian tennis star, that he introduced me to a lot of his friends, you know, the Boris Beckers of this world, and you know, they have a great um, intimacy. intimacy. They're all pals, they're all friends, and so I've been very fortunate. I mean, I've lived in an era, yeah. Rakib, I've lived in an era of Sachin Tendulkar, yeah. Tiger Woods, and Roger Federer. And How I, lucky you are! And you I, I you them. know, and I've been this close, and we, we're, we're friends. So, no one. I mean, I feel sometimes I got to pinch myself to say and tell myself that you know I'm living the dream. I'm living the dream. Uh, at the same time, is there any uh, interesting story that uh, which oh. every time inspire you to uh, continue this profession? Why I want to carry on? Yeah. Well, who wouldn't want to be involved with sport? Uh, you know, this ICC World 2020, the, the players around here, the, they do become friends. Not all of them, you know, but uh, some of them. And why wouldn't I want that to continue? I do, and I love my golf, I love my tennis, love my rugby, and I love my cricket. Stories, gosh, I mean, they're... We have fun as commentators, you know, because everyone's an, an ex-commentator. Wasim Akram, Shane Warne, Sanjay Mansrekar, uh, who else? We got so many oh, here. Shastri. Ravi Shastri, Sean Pollock, they're all here. Yeah. John T. Rhodes is with us on this one now, Sonny and Gavaskar. Sonil Gavaskar. So we, we've all become good friends. Yeah. And um, if you have a good relationship and friendship going in, in the environment, in the commentary box, and the studio, then I think that finds its way to people watching and people listening. They like it. Yeah. They like us to be friends. Yeah. So long may it continue. You have to have a structure. Yes, you have your governing body. Then you look at the pyramid. And the wider that pyramid is, the more people you've got on your base here. Excellence in sport is at the top, but it starts from a strong base. Yeah.